Hey guys, Rob Shoecraft here with Three Storm Fitness. I'm going to do a sit up here and uh, I'm going to talk about it. I'll do it first. I found that if I start talking first, I don't actually demo the exercise until like 10 minutes later, if at all. So let's do it first. Okay. Let's talk about what I'm doing there. It's kind of a combination of, of three of my favorite sit-ups. Um, sit-ups kind of get a bad rap because, first of all, sit-ups get way too much of a good rap on one hand and way too much of a bad rap on the other. This is, uh, this is my attempt to compromise. So, on, the, on one hand, you have everybody, okay, sit-ups are like bench presses, treadmill, bicep curls. All good exercises and tools, um, but I would say overused or misused and overused um, because they're so easy to just get in and look like you know what you're doing. Um, or if you don't know what to do, you can always just hop on the treadmill. You can always just do a ton of sit-ups. Um, what a lot of people will tell you after they're doing a lot of sit-ups is that um, their core is not necessarily sore, but through here, their hip flexors are really sore. And oftentimes their back as well. And uh, one of the reasons for that is that your hip flexors, the core is weak enough, is too weak, or, or really maybe, maybe more so uh, is, is that it's not engaged properly. Uh, your hip flexors uh, take over the job of pulling you back up, or plus you might have that reflex if you gotta go down and pop back up. Uh, hip flexors take over and you let it take over because you want to get all those reps, right? Because it's good for you because you want a six pack and that's how you get one, right? 500 sit-ups a day. That's tongue in cheek. That was nothing else. So, we want to take the hip flexors out of the picture and force the core to work. Um, hip flexors, by the way, if they get real tight, the lower back usually falls. That's the reason for that's another video. But anyways, um, so Yanda, Vladimir Yanda created a, a setup, or at least made famous a setup um, through a lot of research of his own. Um, by the way, he's got a huge body of work that's definitely worth looking into. But uh, and, the, and it's a it's a modified setup, Yanda setups, where you have somebody hold behind your uh, lower legs, you bite into them, so you kind of turn on your hamstrings and your glutes. And when you do that, there's something called reciprocal inhibition. And what that does, basically, you have think about your uh, tricep. A bicep relationship, that's a little easier, or quad and hamstring, we've talked about that. Um, where when one is flexed, when the uh, agonist or the, the prime mover is flexed, say I'm doing a tricep extension, my the agonist, uh, antagonist muscle, the bicep in this case, would be inhibited. So it's not necessarily off completely, but it is uh, kind of, uh, it's a little bit of a trance, we'll say. It can't, it, it, it makes it very, very, very difficult to uh, allow that muscle to be the prime mover. So if you can flex your glutes and hamstring, glutes primarily being the antagonist group for the, uh, um, uh, the hip flexors, then the hip flexors are inhibited and therefore your core has to take over in order to power the movement. So that's the gist behind it. Um, uh, Pavel Tetzelin has uh, created like I think he calls it like the Pavelizer. It's like an exercise, uh, it's a, it's a sit-up tool. It kind of looks like a late night TV, sort of like a, something made by like Big Brother Jake or Tony Little or something. <laughs> but remember Big, Big Brother Jake, remember him? Didn't he have a, like a fitness product line? Anyways, I wish I had Tony Little's ponytail also. I'll work on that. Um, but anyways, but it's a, it's a legit piece of equipment from what I understand, never used one. But the entire purpose of it is for you to bite down and inhibit your hip flexors as much as possible for his uh, hard style sit-ups, which he created an entire book around. And it's, you know, it's worth reading. Our hard style abs, I think is what it's called, but that's one of the featured exercises. And then lastly, you have another exercise, which is a little, a little more, I guess, kind of easy to jump into, um, is when you sit like a butterfly position and you do sit-ups. And by doing that, whew, oh, whew, ooh, dude, I just got a wicked cramp. I did too many of these before I shot this. Oh, hang on. I'll get these freaking rectus abdominis cramps. I get a huge bulge. I got a, a huge bulge in my...
Holy crap. Okay. Man, I get these wicked cramps sometimes uh, in my rectus abdominis and my, um, my six pack muscles basically. And they bulge out and it's nasty. It's freaky and I, I can't talk or laugh or anything. It's terrible when I have people around me because I want to laugh at myself while it's happening because I know how weird it is. But, um, this is bad. This is the worst exercise video ever. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, that happens sometimes. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. When you put your, uh, <clears throat> your feet together, put your feet together and blow your knees out, you get, uh, you kind of you take the hip flexors, not totally out of the picture, but to an extent. Um, so I'm trying to sort of trying to take the best of both worlds. Um, I take a band here and I put it behind my knees. This is like a heavy band, something heavy enough to to give you a bit of resistance, significant amount of resistance when you push in. And so this is not original. This is a this is a style of uh, hard style hard style sit-ups. And what you're doing is you're squeezing your glutes, you're biting your feet into the floor, and you're activating your hamstrings, shoulders, back, so you're not forced to like throw yourself up forward. But to add a little bit to it, um, by the way, those by themselves, if you do them absolutely correctly, are so freaking hard. I mean, you, I can get like two. Um, I'm not even going to try right now because my stomach's all stupid. But in this case, we're going to boat, we're going to put the feet together, we're going to push out, which is also going to activate the gluteus medius, the gluteus medius, the base of your hip extensors, um, or hip external rot rotators, your uh, abductors. Um, which really, the, the, I think the antagonist group would be like your adductors. However, this is, I'm spitballing here, through uh, like the principle of uh, tension or radiation or whatever, I think you get a little bit of carryover to the glutes just to kind of help uh, take them, or harden the glutes a little bit more, take, help the hip flexors out of the picture even more so. So, you get your feet together, hopefully that makes sense. You drive out, it gets this hard, glutes kind of tight, as tight as you can make them in this position. Shoulders back, go down. And you can see what I'm doing, hopefully. I'll have to watch this video again, shamefully. You can see what I'm doing. I'm not going like this. I'm not bouncing back up. I'm doing controlled motion. Kind of breathe. Keep that inner abdominal pressure on, intra abdominal pressure, breathe through your teeth, it's hard style. Um, I'm not making fun of anybody, it's just, it's always funny when I talk about hard style, air compressor breaths. Um, but try those out. I don't know if I'm gonna edit that cramp out or not, that was really weird, you guys are, don't be too concerned. Um, I'll leave it in, it'll be kind of funny. All right, um, it happens, it happens sometimes. I gotta, I gotta look into that, once I figure out, I'm sure I'm just, I need to, I need to re-up, I've been slacking on my magnesium, and uh, that's probably what it is. Uh, that might be it. Uh, I need to, I need to re-up on that, start eating some more spinach. Um, anyways, whatever, it happens. I'm a real life person. <laughs> I get stomach cramps uh, in my erectus abdominis. All right, guys, uh, ignore that part, but I'll call these banded butterfly yandam plavalizers. I don't know. All right. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. Have a great day.